Oi, oi. Roger Retro Gamer. Back again. <sighs> almost melted. Not quite, but almost. Um, I thought, why not? Might, might as well make it a hat trick. So I've been having a look through the PlayStation. Thanks to Retro Bates. Um, community question, if you like. Um, and watching Generation Pixels answer to that. Uh, so I've done me PlayStation, um, recently done the PS2, top 10, um, so yeah, let's make it a hat trick, PlayStation 3, top 10, now, no real honourable mentions, um, most games on there are really good, to be fair, um, I'm more into me 360, um, before all this lockdown madness, um, I sold off, must have been about 150 of my PS3 titles, basically thinned them all out and I'm left with about somewhere in the region of about 100 titles left. Now, to me, these are the cream of the crop, you know, um, and not ones that I can get on the, on the 360. So I'll do me top 10. Why hang about? Sauna time, baby. <laughs> Never mind. So in at number 10. Pain. Oh, wow. A real batshit crazy, stupid, simple game. Just how I like. A bit of fun to have a bit of a blast. Think darts with people. Um, that's what you get. Says it on the tin. Bloody crazy. Um, real laugh out loud stupidity. Um, the way games should be. You know, when you just want want to have a bit of fun with the family and just go nuts. And um, this is just stupid. But well worth playing. Really daft title. Um, so in at number 10, Pain. Now, on the PS3, um, probably more so on the PS3 than... Than in any other console, really. Um, they like their, if you like, HD remixes, so um, re-releases, remasters, and 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 I think from that era has, has just gone onwards and upwards, and that's why PS4, Xbox One, we have so many bloody titles re-released and a bit of extra spit polish and sheen on it. A bit like me, this is the HD version, bit of sheen on. Um, <laughs> um, and then charge you another 30, 40 quid for it. But anyway, I digress. This is the Sly Raccoon Trilogy. Um, really great platform games. Um, I played the second one on the PS2. Um, really good game. But um, yeah, get all three in one cracking little package. So why not? There's loads of these classics, re -re classics HD, uh, the Sly Trilogy as part of the classics HD re-releases. And um, my top 10 could almost be filled with those, to be honest. Um, all great games, great franchises. So yeah, well worth adding to the, to the collection. Um, a must play, if you like. Roger recommended. Um, now this game... Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I think this sort of title paved the way for things to further further down the line, like Last of Us, and um, this just showed PlayStation 3 at its best. Um, and Ninja Theory, um, this was the one with, um, what's his name in it? Andy Serkis, uh, directed and, and starred in it. And if you like, pretty much lifelike character in there. Brilliant game. Well worth adding. It's a hack and slash, but with a, a really great story. Um, I'm not up on prices, but I should think this is one of the, about as cheap as you can get a PlayStation 3 title for, apart from FIFA's. So add it to your collection. Give it a playthrough. Really good title. I haven't played it in years, but it, it made a... It, left me with a real impression as to 
It's a cracking title. Got to be done. And then we have another collection. So God of War. One and two. Um, I played them back on the PS2 days. Um, but it was really when... In, the, in and around that build-up for number three on the PS3. Um, this came out and, and I thought, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play through them all. You know, and um, really great titles. The new one, or the latest one, I should say, the new one. It's on PS4. Um, watch the other half play through it. Absolutely a brilliant story. Um, I'd much prefer that. I mean, she got, we got a um, God of War three and and some of the others, and she she couldn't get into it as much. She's kind of spoiled by by the latest God of War. Um, with titles like this, it's always best to go back and play them in order because um, it can spoil the older games. Obviously, they're they're made in a different way. The story's different. Um, so yeah. Anyway, God of War collection, well worth adding. Got the other God of War collection as well. Um, that was the PSP releases that was re-released on the um, on the PS3. Another classics HD re-release. Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. What for more to say? Really good titles. And we'll have them on one disc. You can't beat that. I will endeavour, when I can be bothered, to um, track them down and get all of these classics HD releases. Um, I've got most of them. But, um, because all of them are good games. It's got to be said. Um, Uncharted 3. I really like this. Now, don't get me wrong. Number 2 is well known as being the best ever. Um, but for me, number 3, I just preferred it. Yes, number 2's got a cracking story. Number 1's more like Tomb Raider. But um, with the extra bells and whistles on. But um, for number 3 is, is one I really enjoyed. Now, each of them including the later ones on the PS4. I've probably only played them probably about an hour or so each, and just something else took me fancy, and I, I started playing that. So um, I never got to play through them all. But um, during lockdown, the other half, um, got them all, the, the re-release one on the PS4 and the latest ones. She played them all, and I had great fun just watching. Um, such good stories. Um, and helped her out on the on the real tough bits, um, but she had great fun playing through them all. So um, yeah, for me, Uncharted Three was was a great great standout moment. But all of them, any one of them, could have been in the top ten quite easily. Um, and again, what's more, what's more to like about that? You know? Jack and Daxter. We need another Jack and Daxter. I think then I'd go out and get a PS Five. Of course, just for. Just, just to play Jack and Daxter. <laughs> but humour, comedy, collectathon, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well worth playing. Um, then The Last of Us. Again, I only played probably an hour or so of this and then moved on to other things. Um, but watched the other half and, and helped her out on the, I think it was only one or two quite tough bits during the game or tricky bits should I say um, but really enjoyed watching her play through this um, she liked the this one a lot more than the second it's well known the second just didn't live up to the, the hype of the first um, the story just wasn't quite up to it but um, the first one was absolutely brilliant again it was just like watching a film great fun and um, yeah Everyone should have that in a PS3 collection, surely. I'll be shocked if you don't. And then for me, this was during a stage of, um, back in the PS3 days, of um, it was all about shooters. Shooters were, were what I was into. Call of Duties, Kill Zones. Oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is Steel Tin. Very nice special edition, if you like. Um, but Kill Zone 3 really great game the first was brilliant second was really good too um but number three just the hd graphics top glass 
absolutely top class um, and before I absolutely melt obviously there's plenty of um, honorable mentions little big planets and Gran Turismo's and heavy rain beyond two souls and whatnot but this is my top 10 and for me resistance PlayStation 3 resistance 1 2 and 3 were absolutely brilliant I mean it just if you can see that screenshot there I won't be putting like you know little insert boxes with videos I can't do all that this is as near as to showing off graphics that I can get um, the great big sort of um, enemies you go up against absolutely brilliant it's a really nice steel tin edition um, again you can probably pick this up for next to nothing and if you haven't played it get on it get in amongst it nab it enjoy it play it don't just let it sit there resistance 3 is my top ps3 game so um might be a few surprises in amongst that as i say i could have just selected all the hd re-releases really the devil may cries tomb raiders splinter cells all great games and you know but um resistance 3 for me is uh, top of the list so um hope you enjoyed that if you can put up your top 10 if you're into playstation by all means i'm not sony pony this is the uh sony pony edition um resistance 3 makes me want to play through that oh, it looks bloody cracking i remember the um it makes me think always makes me think of the suffering another series of games well one and two um the the just top top stuff lovely chappy Anyway, before I completely melt, I'm going to get out of this sweat box and uh, enjoy the rest of my day off. And um, I hope you enjoy your day too. Play your games. <laughs> Take it easy all. Bye for now.